What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're float fishing this river right here. It's a little shallow, but we got the jumbo with us, so we should be chill. We might have to like walk out and drag it a couple times, but there's a bunch of smallies in here. We got Ty with us, and we're just gonna be throwing around some jerk baits, some sankos, that type of stuff. Just stuff for smallies, maybe some top water, and just have a good time. So y'all stay tuned, and let's get to fishing. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's right under us. Look at that smallie. You think I could get him with my Senko? Where'd he go? Oh, oh. you just, oh, you just, Ty just got there one. Oh, that's dope. Oh my God, you're so low. Look at that. Oh. That's sick, on the swim bait. Oh. Okay, I got a real mine in. All right. Right there. Yeah, that's a nice smolly right there. First one of the day. On the paddle tail. There we go. This water is so clear. Like the handle is. Oh, you just got one. Oh, oh look at that jump. <laughs> he's fighting. He's tiny, but he's fighting. What's up, bud? There he goes. We hit a part in the river where it's too shallow, so we're gonna carry the boat across and throw it in here. But we're gonna take a couple casts before we throw the boat in, just to see, just before we spook the fish to see if we can get any. Because usually they'll sit in this pool right where the current's coming through and they'll ambush stuff that comes through on this current. So I'm gonna throw around the jerk bait. I haven't thrown it yet, so. I mean, smallies love this thing, so should be good. Oh, there's one on the jerk, right in this pool here. Oh, he just popped off. I saw two of them like going for it like crazy and I just paused it and that guy grabbed it. We'll throw it back out there. Nice. You got one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that <joke>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right waiting, in the current. Waiting right in the current. Yeah, that was perfect. You just tighten up this drag. Yeah, there. Oh, he's the bigger guy. <laughs> yeah, he's probably the biggest one. This rod is doing great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Ty just got this guy right here on a paddle tail right in that current back there. We're just out here taking the boat for a walk, you know. Just way too shallow, absolutely everywhere. So we're walking him around. He needs the exercise, so it'll be chill. We've been doing all the work for him. Got to get out and let the boat do some of his own work. It looks like there's a bunch of lampreys in here, which is pretty cool. We just saw two while walking the boat down the stream. Oh, you got him. <laughs> I just got another one on the paddle tail. <laughs> we just made it through all of that, um, all of the shallow stuff, walking the boat through. <laughs> No, you lost your paddle tail. Oh no. Do you have another one? No. You know? Well, I have little ones, but. I, I can check if I have one. Uh -huh. Still, that fish came out of nowhere. It's like two feet deep here. You guys can probably see through it. It's just like two or three feet deep, clear water. I'm looking down his throat to see if I can get it back. <laughs> it's definitely it's not, not a throat. Mm -hmm. huh. That's still sick though. We'll find, we'll find another one. Sad. Yeah. He's done good though. He got you four? Yeah, that's cool. It's now the afternoon. We decided to not take a boat out because we had to walk the boat through all the shallow parts last time. So we're just gonna be walking around. Um, I picked up some paddle tails at Walmart since Tyler was killing it on those. 
So hopefully I can catch up, catch some fish on these. These these are the Storm 360 GT swim baits. I used them for striper fishing, but I didn't even realize they had smaller ones. They're only about like four or five bucks. It comes with one jig head and three of these. So, I mean, it looks pretty good for a smallmouth. Hopefully it works. It's the only rod I'm bringing on this excursion. So, should be fun. Yeah. Oh, look at that bald eagle. He's very bald and eagle-like. You know, last time, my first video this year when I saw a bald eagle, I was like, that's good luck. And then I caught like a four pounder a couple casts later. So, you know, buddy, thank you. Oh, there's one <laughs> right in front of me on the swim bait. Well, paddle tail. <laughs> this was definitely the way to go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go right on the paddle tail right there absolutely crushed it i need to put my rod somewhere <laughs> there we go a nice little smolly right there on the paddle tail right out of this shade right here i saw something moving and uh and we haven't seen any fish yet we've just been walking down the side and i saw like a ripple in the water i was like that can't be a fish and sure enough this guy smoked it so right there on that paddle tail we'll get a release of this guy there he goes Woo. that was sick oh a beaver just came out from under there i thought it was a fish it was this big and like that size around. I was like, that's a 30 pound smallmouth right there. It was sitting under the log and just swam out. Right as my lure passed. I was like, I'm about to catch a 30 pound smallmouth. Ty, there's a smallie right here. He keeps getting excited by the splashes. Oh, there he is. I didn't think he'd actually buy it. I was watching this guy. Woo. There's another one. Oh my goodness. Poor dude. I think the rocks go under. I think it'll be fine. Let me check out. But right as I flipped him up, he fell into that hole there. Let me look down there for a second. Make sure he's all right. I mean, all these holes seem to connect. I see them like bobbing in and out of all these rocks here. So, but I'm just going to check to make sure he's doing good. Yeah, it goes through down there. I just pushed my rod through that. Oh, there's another beaver. I probably just like poked a beaver. Look at that guy. Orton. Oh, look at him. He's huge. Look at that beaver. He's swimming towards you. He just went under. Is he up there? I think he just went under. But yeah, that, that, that guy's all good. I pushed my rod down there and it went like all the way down and then I scared a beaver out. He just came swimming through, just one a chungus beaver. And there's a couple of trout in this pool right here. They were just nibbling at the tail. I, I kept getting bites and I was like, why am I not hooking them? But the trout are just like swiping at it back and forth and just knocking it side to side. Um, I mean, their mouths are a lot smaller than smallmouth, so. But we're, we're going to keep throwing it in here. Oh, Ty. A nice smallmouth just chased mine. Yeah. Oh, there's the bald eagle again. He definitely lives around here. Came to say bye. Uh, we're on our trek back right now. We just finished up. Overall, today was a really good day. They were definitely zoned in on the paddle tails, but we, we hooked that one on the jerk bait earlier, but everything else has been paddle tails. And yeah, it was fun. I mean, we're just walking up, up the river and over to the truck, so. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, bros.